Now let us look at the question number 61 to 70. So question number 61 says the CPU can perform read or write operations directly on. Now you, if you just focus on the term directly because CPU cannot directly read on hard disk, uh, write on hard disk. CPU generally write on RAM and from RAM we write data to the hard disk. Okay, so CPU can read or write operations directly from RAM. CPU cannot write on ROM. CPU cannot write on hard disk. Why you cannot write on ROM? Because it is a read only memory. It cannot write on hard disk and it cannot write on EPROM. So C can, CPU can only write on RAM. So question number 62 says, which is an example of non volatile memory. Now, when I'm saying non volatile memory, that means when you turn off the system, then the memory should not wipe off but the RAM cache memory or VLSI so actually VLSI is uh, not used to store data it is not a memory but RAM and cache is a memory now this RAM random access memory and cache memory whenever you turn off the computer or restart your computer they will be completely wiped off or all the data will be deleted but data which is present in ROM is already embedded again you cannot uh, write any data onto the ROM because it is already hardware configured so ROM is not a non-volatile, is an example of a non-volatile memory. Now question number 63 says the term not related to a pixel, uh, to a printer. Now here uh, we have DPI, PPM, head and pixel. So this DPI is dots per inch. So DPI is related to uh, printers, PPM is related to printer, head is related to printer, head means the read write head that is going to uh, write on the printer. Uh, but pixel is not it. Pixel is the, uh, for images, for screens we use pixels. Pixels we do not use in terms of pr uh, printers because in printers we use D DPI or PPM. Okay, so here pixel is not a term which is related to the printers. Now look at these questions. Which is the only decision making unit in of CPU? Now there's only one uh, decision making unit, and that unit is called as. Uh, Arithmetical and logical units ALU. Okay, so he so let me figure out these questions this question one by one See cache memory you cannot make decision register file you cannot make decision and there now there are two things that are left number one is ALU second third one is control and timing unit now this control and timing unit is used to synchronize between different parts or components of the computer it is uh, just used so that these components will be able to uh, perform action simultaneously but when you have ALU, ALU used to perform calculations. Now according to those calculations, we perform operations uh, which is uh, based on the control and timing unit. But let us say, uh, what, from my point of view, what I see is that ALU is the place where we perform calculations. It is arithmetical logical unit and according to the output of ALU, we perform different actions and those actions are performed by control and timing unit. So combination of these two is required. But if I have to give one answer, then I'll give you ALU as the answer. Now, for question number 65, they are saying processing capability of a computer is decided by. So the processing capability is generally dependent on uh, your uh, CPU, right? So our CPU architecture also at the same time. Now here, uh, clock frequency, uh, yes, somewhat we can decide processing capability, but that also depends on CPU architecture memory size again maybe bus size uh, may not be okay so it may not be a correct answer so i'll say uh, this is a pretty confusing question because i cannot say processing capability because there are different factors on which the processing capability of a computer is dependent on i'll say uh, because we have uh, uh, for cpu we have memories because memory size may not be a processing capability but it can be a factor that affects the processing capability and clock frequency I'll say clock frequency uh, it's actually uh, how, at what clock your sys CPU is running so maybe clock frequency can be an answer but I'll say clock frequency may not be okay so we have to figure out this question just you uh, suggest me what is the answer of this problem but uh, I'll see the processing ability computers dependent on your CPU and the CPU may be dependent on the clock frequency maybe that can be how I mean uh, clock frequency generated to the CPU itself so maybe this can be a correct answer but I cannot figure out the right answer to this problem maybe the problem is not formulated correctly but you uh, tell me what uh, your point of view for this question number 65 now for question number 66 they're saying the term 
algorithm refers to now this algorithm is the set of instructions i mean algorithm is saying how, uh, defining the logic of a, of solving a particular problem now when i'm saying algorithm it can say it is the logic of the program yes solution of the problem no programming of a problem no so i'll see the algorithm is referred to as the logic of the program and nothing else okay now let us look at the question number 67 it says the flow chart is a flow chart is a program planning uh, yes you can say that a flow chart is a program planning uh, b way of problem definition no uh, pictorial representation of an algorithm it can be but i'll say it is program planning will be a better option as compared to this okay now for question number 68 they say the term dfd stands for now dfd stands for the data flow diagram so data flow depiction is not there data feeding device is not there it is data flow diagram now 69 is saying which computer language is not a high level language now we have four language here assembly language c language c++ language and java now c c++ and java they are considered as high level programming language as assembly language is not a high level programming language here now question number 70 says which is not an object oriented programming language c++ as we know it is object oriented programming language actually the trend of object oriented programming language is started by c++ only it started like this we were having a language b in 1970s now uh, dennis ritchie designed c language in, again in 1970s and it become became very famous in 1980s we found out that uh, 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 we still have to add more functionalities in C language to make it more powerful so there are two branches divided here one is uh, developed by next computers which was a company by Steve Jobs and they developed objective C and uh, they developed Mac and iOS operating system in objective C and other uh, family they uh, Bajane straw strip they developed C++ language and it was having object oriented features now the object oriented features of C++ are again redesigned in Java completely thoroughly from the scratch and the uh, functionalities of Java they are adapted by uh, uh, Visual Basic or Microsoft C Sharp so V C++ you can say so you can see here uh, C is not an object oriented programming language whereas C++ Java and VC++ C++ they are object oriented programming languages now in the next videos let us look at the question number 71 to question number 80